Adaptations in Plants Rainy went on a trip, visited different places and captured pictures of them. Look here, she has arranged the pictures in her album with nice captions. She has pictures of mountains, deserts, coasts, plains and lakes. Look closely at the plants. Plants of each region are different from plants of other regions. Doesn't it raise these questions in your mind? Why do some plants grow so well in a particular region? But why can't they grow at all in a different region? Special features that allow a plant or animal to survive in a particular place are called adaptations. As adaptations of a plant for a particular region help it survive there, they make it equally difficult for the plant to survive in a different place. That's why certain plants are found in one region, but not in another region. Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are of three types. They are free-floating plants, fixed plants, and underwater plants. The water hyacinth and duckweed are examples of free-floating plants. These plants are not fixed to the soil. They float freely on water. Stems and leaves of these plants are light and spongy. This helps the plant float freely on water. The water lily and lotus are fixed plants. These plants have their roots fixed in the soil at the bottom of a pond. They have a thin, long, hollow and flexible stem to reach the surface of water and withstand water currents. Their leaves are broad and flat, which helps them float on water. The leaves are covered with a waxy coating. This prevents the leaves from rotting. The leaves have small pores called stomata only on their upper surface, so that water does not block the pores. The flowers are large and bright, which help them float and attract pollinators, respectively. The tape grass and pondweed are examples of underwater plants. These plants grow completely underwater and are not visible above the surface of water. Their roots are fixed to the soil at the bottom of a water body. They have thin narrow leaves to withstand water currents and the leaves do not have any stomata. These plants breathe through their body surface.